Antonio Hondo here with Love This City TV. We're with one of the best shops in Toronto. Lee from FY Inc. Tell me about what's going on here today. It's uh, an annual thing, but we're, we're pretty known in the city, so we got to make a big presence. As you can see, it's one of the biggest booths in the show. Um, turnout's really good. Yesterday, the weather wasn't the greatest, so we weren't sure how it was going to turn out, but it's been flooding in. So tell us a little bit about your shop and how you get the different artists and what's the flavor. So we're kind of like the bad apple in the industry. Like we kind of go against the grain. We're very young, uh, big lifestyle shop, but the talent speaks for itself. Like extremely talented all over the world. Uh, the shop's a party. It's always, it's always something going on, some funny story or something. Um, but the work is mostly realism, black and gray. We do some color stuff. We tend to a lot of walk-ins as well, but they usually convert over to something big. How's this style changing? Because people, like you can't even style it anymore. It's like portrait or black and white. Like there's like a mashup now. So do you have like individual artists that do this or that? Or are you just strictly drawing and being creative with whatever comes in? So what usually happens is they come in when we originally hire them, doing one style, and when they all start working together, they all start practicing all different stuff, and next thing you know, they're very well-rounded. Um, where is the industry going? We don't know, because it's just going so fast. Like, what tattoos were five years ago, what they are now is, like, insane. I don't know what's gonna happen 10 years from now, because what's happening right now is, like, it's better than a photograph. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some of that. I didn't even believe some of these art pieces of babies' faces are like that. Is it the equipment or the artists are just getting I think better? it's it's the world, right? Like society's allowing people to get knowledge a lot easier. There's social media, there's videos, internet, everything, right? Where like 20 years ago, it would have to be a convention like this where an artist meets another artist and might learn a trick that year. Like now everyone's seeing what everyone's doing every day. They're learning on the spot, talking to everyone, so. Yeah, and people love to hear the crazy, gruesome stories. So I'm putting you on the spot. Question one, craziest client story. Oh, definitely this transgender chick that came in and she was just getting naked in the place like it was <laughs> I don't know how Censored this is oh, but let me tell you right now. It was want. pretty fucked up man. Yeah, I don't know. She was like um, It was bad man. It was bad <laughs> It was bad second craziest story because we've heard people shit all over the place throw up hysterically over the place anything Okay, else? so there was this one funny story actually this yeah, dude good too this dude, he won Indie Week, like it was an independent band thing on Queen West, came in wanted to get his first hat. Before he even got tatted, passed out. But when he passed out, he was holding a Coke and then like went down to like a sitting position, but never dropped the Coke while he was unconscious. It was pretty funny. That's hilarious. All right, and your craziest story, tattooing yourself or anything of that nature. I got a tattoo of my ex-girlfriend's name, put an X through it, it says learn from your mistakes. Oh, okay. That won an award for the worst tattoo at a Vancouver convention. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> crazy experiences. Books, he's a script artist. Legend. I was like, um, I think it was like 6 a.m. and I ended up in his tattoo, no, in his uh, hotel room with every single legend from last year all tied in my stomach. It was pretty wild. So you got a tattoo like after party, next thing you know you're in a hotel getting we were partying all night, end up there, tattooed. What did you get? My whole stomach. So that's what happened at uh, and decided to get a massive tattoo. Yeah, a little yeah, one. yeah. And I'm in the room with like legit 20 of the biggest guest artists in the world. Did everyone take just, turns or it was just one no, person? No, it was one guy. Oh, jeez. That's pretty sick. Okay, and what, what tips and tricks would you give for everybody that wants to kind of get in the industry of tattooing this day and age? Practice, man. It's like anything, just practice, practice, practice. Don't get entitled. I find everyone in this fucking industry, after they start tatting a little bit, they feel so entitled. Like everyone should stay humble and just know that there's someone out there that's better than you and you can learn from them. Just don't be entitled and just keep learning, man. And last but not least, how do they hit you up on social media in the digital world? I think we're hard to hide. I think it'll be pretty easy to find us. Walk on Queen Street or just search FY Inc. on any search engine, anything you want. Yeah, you'll find us. There you go. Hondo, love this city. We're out.